It was for me to die under an Irish sky, there finding birth in good Irish earth. What I dreamed and planned bound me to my fatherland, but war set me to sleep in Glencree. Passion and pain were my loss and gain. Pray as you pass to make good my loss. Stan O'Brien. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome to the new people, too. Yes, to the new people. Let's go. And if you're new, we are Leah and Lee, and we are Borders and Beyond. And we're two weirdos. We're two weirdos, and our aim is to, at the moment, is to see as much of Ireland as we can. While we can. While we can. So today we're on our way up to Glencree in, it's in County Wicklow, um, like a lot of our stuff lately, but we are off to the German War Cemetery. Um, never been before, but it's meant to be good, and it's on Atlas Obscura. That's actually where we're finding a lot of our stuff as well. Yeah, it's uh, where a lot of the kind of, Atlas Obscura is where a lot of the kind of random weird kind of places we've found lately have been on, so we are going to be seeing this on Atlas Obscura as well, so we're going to... Go get there. We're going to take a look and see what it's like. Wasn't in our five kilometer radius previously, but now that, that's been scrapped so we can go there now. Yeah. So it was like six and a half kilometers away from us, so we couldn't do it without the 5k, so now we can though. Now we can. Let's go take a look. Sweet. on this here it's actually really really interesting so it's basically saying that here lies 134 people who, who deceased and 75 of them were unidentified still it was people who washed up on the shorelines or who kind of fell victim over Ireland rather than like any Irish involvement because I misunderstood it I thought it was to do it with a like, Irish involvement or something in it, but it's not. It's only people who were like, like washed up on shore on the Irish coasts or were like shot down on the plane above Ireland or anything like that. It's interesting though. So the sign at the front was also saying that every year on in November they do like a war memorial for the victims who were in this um, in this crater at the cemetery. So yeah, take a look around. So as you can see from all the signs, all the encryptions and stuff and all the writing are in mainly in German, but they're also in English and Irish as well. Well, it's good, which is good because obviously like you would have a lot of German maybe relatives and stuff with the people who have died going to visit so at least they have them in you know the three languages so it's interesting very very interesting yeah i'll keep coming around oh god i don't know well We decided to go up the most unorthodox way possible. I don't know why we went up that way, but we did. I'm gonna fall falling. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. We're up. Oh, jeez, I fell again. Sort of taking an alternate route coming down, and uh, yeah, it's just gonna open the waterfall right now. So I'm gonna go down and get a little board's eye view over from a nice little waterfall here. There we go, there we go. So it's not the most sturdy walkway, but um, yeah. The 
some red colour just there though. It's amazing. It's just like along here. All the red colour in there is so cool. We're just sitting at the waterfall here and he is getting some long exposure for photographs of the waterfall. She cute. She's a lot better at photography than me. That's a promise. Car. That was kind of a short one today. Um, we didn't obviously we hadn't been before, so we never realised how small how small it actually is. We got an adventure into though. We had to go through the jungle, the wilderness to get up to that cross. It was good. Like I know it is a bit morbid that you know it's a cemetery, and then you have people who would probably be like, oh, well, why is your German soldiers buried here? But at the end of the day, the German soldiers were only doing what they were told to do. Exactly, we were neutral. We had nothing to do with the yeah. war, so the war wasn't the soldiers. The soldiers were basically told, "You're, you're a soldier. This is what you have to do." So you know, the fact that Ireland kind of because they were neutral came along and said, "You know, look, we'll show them some, some dignity, respect, yeah, it? and we'll bury them here." And you know, as the sign said, that they agreed with the German kind of to to fund it. Like, yeah, again, another really good place to visit that if you're in Wicklow, like if you're on, it's very close to Loch Bray, so it could be just somewhere that you'd stop off, you know, on the way up, visiting the lakes or the mountains or... That'll also be an upcoming video, by the way. Yes, we'll be there soon. But yeah. Anyway, as always, like, subscribe, yeah. no needs me. Please. And thank you. Yeah, that, that little button, go press it. Helps us. Boom! And um, we'll see you in the next video. Slana, will you? Bye.